Hi Scorpio, it's me, it's Julia with Scorpio Squad. Today is July 4th. For those of you in the U.S., happy 4th of July. And for the others, happy week ahead for everyone. Thank you so much for your love and support for me and the channel. You guys are amazing. Sending you much love and many blessings. And uh, for those of you that are new, this is a Scorpio channel. Cross watchers, you're welcome here. You may want to make sure to subscribe and turn your notification bell to all because I do do videos for Scorpio seven days a week. Uh, for those of you looking for a live tarot card reading from my psychics or tarot card readers between now and the end of August, you can call up as many times as you want and use the promo code Things Are Heating Up and you will get your reading discounted. Okay? Uh, if you're looking for personal love reading with me, you can book it through my website and pay for it there. Go to products and tarot card readings. Everything else that you need, Scorp, is listed down below in the description box. Alright, let's get going. For Scorpio, I call upon my angels. I call upon the white light to come into this reading for Scorpio. you got to make a decision between two things, two people. Looks like here, Scorpio. With the Feast of Plenty. There's a new beginning waiting for you, though, Scorpio. Oh, that card just went right there. See, balancing act. Yes or no? Trying to deal with a lot of things all at once. Again, another two, right? Some of you just need rest and renewal. You have not been sleeping well. Okay. Cards down. Let me go get them. <laughs> Okay, so you really need to get back in touch with your angels here. Okay, some of you may feel left out in the cold, or you may feel like you're not good enough, or somebody doesn't like you the way you like them. It's going to be different for all of you, but that's not the case. Whatever you have been uh, planting, manifesting here, my divine feminines, it's going to happen going to happen. Just have to have faith, right? For Scorpio. For Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? Messages and clarity for the sign of Scorpio. Okay. Let's see what this is. Okay. So you're experiencing life as it comes. Because that's all you can do, right? Going day by day, going with the flow. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, though. Um, it's very important right now that you connect with like-minded people. All right. Keep your intention. You've got all the magic that you need to make whatever you need to make happen here. All right. Something is faded for you. Stick to your intentions. And get out of being in stagnation and it could be because you're not sleeping well that you're in stagnation but spirit wants you to get moving for scorpio for scorpio well that's nice that came out backwards you've got a dream thief or you had a dream thief around you that came out in reverse um which was, you know, refusal of the call. So you're back on track again, I'm feeling. Be adaptable to the changes that are coming, right? Some of you may have disconnected spiritually for a moment. But you're back on track. For those of you that still feel detached, you may need to detoxify yourself. Get your mind, heart, and soul aligned again. Okay? Home is very important right now. Family is very important. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. You have this opportunity that's been presented to you. Now, whether or not you're going to go down that uh, avenue, I don't know.
And some of you need to shake off this ego, okay? Because you're really using your power in the wrong way, okay? But you got to do that first before you can replenish everything that's been taken from you or that you are in need of, okay? Because some of you are really um, in a space of ego. The spirit doesn't like it. You need to get connected right now to the divine. And then if you could do that, then you have a possibility to come into union with the divine. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. Because I feel a lot of you are being invited. You're just refusing the call. Yeah, because you're going through a transformation right now, whether you know it or not. You are. For Scorpio. Scorpio's like, when are we never? Yeah, I know. Oh, <laughs> and cards down. Okay, so there's been a little bit of a waiting period. Cards down, I'm going. Um, we have to be a little bit patient in regards to something here. Um, Spirit is saying for you to come into union, don't worry about it because you will. Because the universe has a hand in it. All right. And, you know, you may not, everything may not be revealed to you at this time about how things are going to show up or how they're going to be, because they're kind of all hidden in the shadows. And as you go along your path, um, things become revealed to you. It's time for a group think, you know, to get together with like-minded people or with your person or with your families and come up with some kind of decision here. Um, you know, it's all about protecting the future here. You also need to complete something and close the door to something that no longer serves you, uh, Scorpio. And have the courage to step into this new life that's being presented to you. And take movement forward on this new adventure. Okay? It's not going to be easy. There are some obstacles. But I don't think it's anything that you can't overcome. All right, the Gateway Oracle for Scorpio. What do we have for my beautiful Scorpios? I love you, Scorpio. What do we have? A soaring into joy. Childlike wonder fills my life. So a lot of you are just like, really just enjoying life because you've done the work. And you're cherishing self. They want you to take good care of yourself. They want you to spoil yourself. Do nice things for yourself. Whether you're with somebody or you're alone. Right, Scorpio? Planting seeds. Yeah, and those seeds you're planting, you're planting with, you know, good intentions. In the soil. And eventually those seeds will grow, Scorpio. And you will benefit from the seeds you have planted. They want you to let go of something here so that you can, um, you know, just surrender. They want you to surrender and go with the flow of life. You don't always have to know the outcome. Launching your journey. Some of you may be planning a trip or relocating somewhere or moving somewhere. All right. So, got a trip coming. And you'll be manifesting your dreams. The things that you truly want, you'll make come true. Whether it's a relationship, whether it's a different career choice, whether it's living somewhere else than where you live now, Scorpio. All right. Animal spirit, oracle. What do we have for Scorpio? Clarity and guidance for the sign of Scorpio, please, angels. What do we have? What do we have for the sign of Scorpio? Magic works through you. 
You can make happen whatever you want to make happen. Same here, co-create with spirit. They're waiting for you to co-create with them. Believe in yourself and be in the here and now. So you've got the magic to create whatever you want to create. They want you to be your true self. Spirit is willing to work with you on whatever you want to work on here, Scorpio. Don't get so caught up on too far down the future. Be more focused on the here and now, right? For Scorpio. They want you to pay attention to the small details. Okay? The spirit definitely has a plan for you. Well, what is that plan? <laughs> right? What is that plan? Be peace. They want you to be peace. They want you to just be peaceful and go with the flow of life. Got it. And take this time out to heal if you need to heal from anything. All right? Because life is a mystery. They want you to still be fearless and bold, but they want you to learn from your mistakes. And also pay attention to the things that you're saying to yourself, or your beliefs, your limitations, right? Don't set limitations on yourself. Use your mind wisely, okay? Because transformation is beautiful. It's going to lead you somewhere really, really nice. And don't worry about your abundance. You will always have abundance. But there is something new that you're supposed to do. And you, you got miracles coming here. And it may be something having to do with you taking your experiences and, um, and making it wisdom for others. Some of you may need to write a book. I'm just saying. Gateway. I mean... Uh, Enchanted Map. One card for Scorpio. One card for Scorpio. Clarity and guidance for the sign of Scorpio. Give us just one card for the sign of Scorpio. They gave us two. Wide open and flying. Alright, let's see what this is. Number 42. Never gotten that one. 42. Wide open. You are free to express your uniqueness to the world and share in all the bounty of life's endless possibilities. All manner of opportunities are presented to you at this time. The wide open card is a signal that you are able to truly manifest your dreams and your goals are all in sight. Don't remain small and uh, contracted. Instead, expand your horizons beyond what you believe to be your limitations. You have a unique voice that needs to be expressed in the world. The universe is supportive of new ideas and approaches and at this time, so speak up and speak out. This card is a sign of the maverick who freely roams the wide open space of possibility. Allow for greater vision to replace old ideas as your dream, as you dream, excuse me, a grander dream. Very nice. And number 20, which is flying. You have the power to see things from a higher perspective. Of course you do, because you're intuitive. If you were a flying bird, flying high in the air, what would you see? When you soar above life's challenges and opportunities, a new perspective becomes available. Today you have invisible wings that allow you to swiftly bring your circumstances into alignment with your highest purpose. This is a sign that your waiting is over, that all your hard work has paid off, and the things you hoped for are no longer beyond your scope. You have the ability to reach for the stars and find one with your name on it. Spread your wings and soar. The angels are waiting for you. Wow, Scorpio, that's beautiful. All right, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Sending you much love and many blessings, Scorpio. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Have a terrific, terrific time, okay? Love and kisses. Bye.